appreciate it, Tony. You like my place now, huh? The only good Italian restaurant in town. You know, you haven't been here in a long time, Akeem. See? We've redecorated, expanded. You're making more money. No, less, really. You know, the narcotics business is in the slump. Various factors, competition. But I expect to make a great deal of money soon. From numbers? It's the only convenient source, Hakeem. I would you otherwise. After all, we grew up together, went to the same school. But Chicago calls the shots for me now. You know that. I need the southwest side. Like I told you before, you can keep prostitution. Later on, I'll cut you in on the hard stuff. You just give me the numbers. Tony, I've told you before, I don't go that way. Drugs is your thing. You and Mama Lottie are into that. Numbers is my business. And I intend to be left alone to do it. Now, that's all I came here to say. Why don't you understand that you're powerless? You're losing your grip, Hakeem. You don't seem to understand that you just can't do anything you want anymore. You know I know every move you make. Uh, you don't pay your people enough or treat them right. Something. I've known your exact schedule for weeks now. That you work out of the pool room on Main Street right this minute. <laughs> well, I know who to get rid of to take care of that. I don't think you do now. Anyway, it doesn't make any difference. 
The contract is out on you, old boy. And the order came from Chicago, not from me. Understand? I understand, Tony. But call them and, and get them to give me 30 days to liquidate. When a horse is out, I don't go that way. All right. But remember what I said. One of your people works for me, and I know everything you do. You play games with me, and you'll be a dead pasha. I told you I understand. Step outside with me for a minute, and here's something I want to say. He can hear anything I can. But Tony, you frisk me and relieve me of my gun. This is your turf. What could be more safe? Don't worry about it. She can amuse your friend for a minute. Anyway. Who's afraid of a contract now? Chocolate won't break you out. That's a Pick up my gun from Tony's bodyguard. Don't worry. I took care of the bodyguard. Tony said there's a rat in our organization. You check it out. But I'll take care of it, okay? Okay. This is an election year, Harvey. If I'm going to be elected mayor again in 56 for another term, I've got to have an issue that I can deal with now. The decent citizens in this community are getting sick and tired of all the killing and the crime in the streets. So. Let's give them a, a target that they can focus their anger on to. John, let me put in a word. Really, this numbers thing does look like a good shot. And you got a ready-made villain here. This Pasha person, you see. <laughs> the police chief is on line four, Mr. Jabbar. Good old Harvey, dear love. The weakest of my enemies calls me. Drink it, drink it. Mama Lottie makes it especially for me from the real herb. Wait, It'll Nathan. make you strong. You can't go in there. Mr. Jabbar is busy. Nathan! Nathan, you can't go It's all right, there. girl. It's all right. I hit 369, and Do Dirty told me you wasn't going to pay off. You've seen Do Dirty? He told you I wouldn't pay? I paid Do Dirty for your hit yesterday. I always pay. Although it's not often somebody hits me for $7,000. Sit down. I don't want to sit. I want my money. Do Dirty will be here in a few minutes to make his deadline. In the meantime, I'm going to sell you a house. Go on, sit down. You've got a little brother, a son. Little Billy Jones? Yeah, a brother. I see him going to the Conwells every day. <laughs> He's a hip little cat. I think he's got some kind of a hustle going already. 
<laughs> What's your name? Nathan. Nathan Jones. Who's Billy? He sure eats a lot of potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Serene, don't you? Huh? And Nathan Jones, of course. Do dirty nigger! Listen, man, listen, man, listen, listen. Shooting, cutting women on niggas, that's old time and shit, man. Well, I haven't got to that yet. Man, I'm still talking about trying to go up the side of your head, nigga. But I got your money, man. I got your money. Well, where's my money? Look. My number came in the day before yesterday. Now, do I have to turn you upside down and I got out of you? I got some of your money. I got some of your money. I'm going to kill you, you child nigga. What good is this life when it's money you want? What are you going to do for Nathan, do dirty? I bought a car and I got $3,000 left. You want the car? No. Well, it won't hurt to look at the wheels. Now give me the keys, do dirty. Do dirty. Yeah. Keep some do dirty with drum up in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, in a common ordinary old brown paper. Come on, do dirty. We're going for a ride. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Baby, now. Come on. Get in. Get in. Come on, baby. Man, he's still alive. Don't look good. That's bad, huh? Yeah. Do you have a family, a wife, relatives? I a wife and two kids. I'll take care of them. Okay? Jimmy Rush for me. Yes, sir. Where's the ring? I don't know. She was just here a minute ago. Sneaky bitch. Listen, sweet man, I got something for you to do. Still, the police chief here may be right about the risks involved in an all-out attack. Now, this is 1956, and you just can't count on what... Chief Dearlove, who is Pasha? And what do you know about him? Well, Edwin Austin is his real name. He calls himself Hakem Jabbar. Everybody on the South and the West Side know him as Pasha or The Pasha. Now, what the hell kind of name is that? It's a nigger name. Have you seen him? No. But you know where he is? Not precisely, no. But approximately, yes. Well, how can you be sure that he even exists? How can you know the numbers exist? The whole policy racket. These people are very clever about the concealment of betting slips and money. Hello, Mr. Conwell. Billy Jones. Give me a taste of them chips, boy. They look so good. You hold them so tight, I know they just got to be good. You'll have to take my word for it. The amount of money generated in this betting game is enormous. Let me have my undercover man explain this numbers business to you. Wiley, would you step in here a minute, please? Gentlemen, this is Officer Wiley. Officer Wiley, explain to the gentleman the uh, numbers business, please. All right, Mayor Delaney, Councilman. Our investigation shows that Mr. Pasha controls the numbers operation in the city. He has established pickup stations for his runners, and we have found out that he runs his operation very successfully. He controls pickup men, hey, pimps, what? houses of what prostitution, politicians. Cool. What? 
Shop. As soon as you get your piece over, you working for the man? <laughs> Are you kidding yourself? I live here, man. My name's Sweet Man. I've been here 30 years. I work for Pasha, son. Funny people. When I see you at the Bijou the other day, there, you, a nice little blonde under your wing. What are you fighting the man with? Pillowcases and sheets. Hey, sweet man. You early today, ain't you? I was just running my black ass off. <laughs> 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 How come the Pasha got you hustling so hard? Trouble, Brother Winston. Trouble. You mean like in white folks' middle name? Better meant home folks that have said aggravation. Yeah, I heard some of them Italian businessmen been robbing the pickup men bad lately. Shit, that's nothing new. They've always been robbing. I piece don't know an Italian from nothing else. Some jive cops that bug me. The man don't mess with you. Who? What's the matter with you, man? Ain't you registered to vote? This is an election year. And every four years, downtown looks up and sees black. The tax is so high now, it doesn't pay to pay. Catch you later. 321 fall, I'm gonna catch you. You just can't keep your mind off the fancies, can you, Brother Winston? <laughs> 321's going to screw you into the ground. <laughs> Let me play your number. Let me lay your number in today. I know what it is. Don't even tell me. You really do? You know I do. Hey, uh, I gotta get by to see you sooner or later, but it's just a busy way. Hey, don't leave, sweet man. Hey, baby, well, you know how it is. The number game is now. I and I'll catch you later. I want you to come by. We'll be there. Give me my numbers. Get it, Billy. Come on, Billy, I taught you better than that. Pull me down. Supposed to get on the lid. Get me on the lid. There you go, Tim. Pull him down. Pull him down. There you go. There you go. Now we're strong. Billy, 
Someday we'll move away from here. Far away from here. I want to be a football player and make lots of money and buy a big mansion. Billy, I'll probably take care of you all your life. I'll be a millionaire before you get out of the sixth grade. I got this job with the posh. Good evening, Willie. Evening, Mr. Jabbar. How's that new baby of yours? Oh, you and a mother are both great. That's good. Take care of him. Yeah? Okay. Jimmy, did you do what I told you to do? I said I did. Everything? Everything. Just in time, too. You know, they blew my man James Turner away today. Just when I was hassling with Dude Dirty over a hit. A big one? A young blood named Nathan Jones was ready to eat Dude Dirty alive. <laughs> and I was ready to let him. But that was before I got the news about Turner. I figured I better cut down on inside friction because we're going to need everybody we got. Everybody. Nathan's going to be with us, too. This kid. Did you pay him? Do that he paid him. But I want you to train him. How much time have I got? None. Just, you know, take him around with you. Is he good? Yeah, he's good. I've had my eye on him for quite a while now. Serene call you today? That bitch don't mean nothing but trouble. Anybody love blood that much? You ought to let me do whatever she's supposed to be taking care of. And I don't make as much mess. Serene's little ugly number will be fine for some time. But over the long haul, I want you right here, close to me, you understand? You know, white girls would be just fine if they had a little more behind. It's just a different thing. Yeah, but with me, I love hips, you know. With them, it's strictly what's up front that counts. silent partners this evening before we go to the meeting. Tell Willie Glenn to keep the motor running. As soon as I'm dressed, we'll go by Mama Lottie's. Good evening, Mr. Jabbar. Good evening, Mr. McDonald. How are you this evening? Find yourself, sir. Good, good. Did your son-in-law get his business straightened out? Yes, thanks to your help. That young lawyer of yours is a fine young man. Yes, very intelligent. He told my wife, my daughter, and me to hope for a suspended sentence. But he went and got JoJo acquitted. And he said there'd be no more record. Very resourceful young man. He understands the white folks. That's what it is. He's been to their schools. He knows how to speak their language. There's a rumor that you're going to sell this building back to the whites. No, I, I don't think I'll sell it. Is that all right? Got McDonald's son-in-law quitted today. The old man's elated because it's lighter on his pocketbook. <laughs> Good evening. It is, now that I know that JoJo's out, okay? Uh, McDonald told you, huh? How my son could marry that old prune's daughter. I'll never understand. <laughs> What's that I smell? You tell me first. Do it smell good? Don't look at me like that, honey. Before you know it, I'll be done stuck you and put you in the pot with the greens. <laughs> Where's Romaine? Taking a bath, I guess. I heard the water running a while back. Mm-hmm. 
mean to buy? Well, if I had been married to you for the last five years, I guess I wouldn't recognize you. Where you been? What you been doing? You ain't been doing nothing for me, that's for sure. You left out here at 8 o'clock Tuesday morning, and it's now 8 o'clock Wednesday night. Well, you didn't even call. I could have been into anything in that time, anything. Oh, yeah. Now, listen, babies. You just get into anything you want to. Absolutely anything that makes you a little hard happy. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the pipe. Just the pipe. Pop is doing me more good now than young girls. Okay, Pops. But maybe some night when you're smoking your dope, you ought to let me. for me and the three wise men. I want to play that number tomorrow. Oh, Don't let me forget now. <laughs> no, I won't. What do you always come in front of the door like that? Oh, it's the busiest time of day. Aren't you afraid of being seen? <laughs> being seen? I'm a man. I do what I do. Anyway, most of my friends and all of my enemies know that I come here. So why should I sneak around and try to hide my relationship with Mama Lottie? Besides, if I wanted to go by unnoticed, I'd just make myself invisible. 
<laughs> That's the most words I ever heard you put together, Jim. <laughs> Feeling bad? Mm -hmm. Smoke some opium. Raise your head. <laughs> On you? Kiss my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, baby. You came on me so quick. I really didn't know it was you. Jimmy. How much time we got? Enough. You look bad. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Need some help from me? Hmm? That's why I'm here. <laughs> you won't let me love you anymore. <laughs> you got anything to eat? I'm hungry. Hungry? You? What kind of trouble you got? I'll get to that. Can you give me something to eat? Come. Cook some hot stuff, fiery stuff. Make you strong. You uh, drink that tea I make you? Let me tell you my other troubles first. I heard from Police Chief Harvey Deal the other day. One of my best customers, usually. But lately, he ain't been coming around as much. He's scared, Mother. That pig afraid. Who's the wolf? Perhaps there's a whole pack of them. But the one with the biggest mouth is Antonio Ferraro. Tony? You have got nothing to worry about. Number's not his business. He sells dope. Heroin, you know. Anyway, we got an agreement, Tony and me, for operating this little opium concession. No takeout, no delivery, strictly cash and snort. <laughs> it don't bother me. I thought of that. I've got friends down in Mexico. But you know me. Sitting around on my butt is not my thing. I've got to be right out there in the middle of it. Of course, later, should it become necessary for me to leave the country, I want to depend upon you making all the arrangements. We'll move so fast, no one will be able to figure us out. But I have a question. The police chief has been in our pockets, and so has the mayor for four years. Now they want to get greedy. Why now? This is the question. I sure wish I knew what Tony's promised them. I think this is his office. I think the room's supposed to be in the back. Where's the can? Here it is. Try the switch. Damn thing's dead. Okay, use your light. All right. Let's move. Come in. Jimmy. Come on, man. Let's go. Conchita, ain't you working tonight? No, I'm not. So this is the only place it can be. Must be a fake wall. Yeah, just as I thought, there's room back there. Willie, drop Raphael off somewhere close to the office, but not so we'll be seen. What about in front of Axis Church? Do it. Charlie's found. 
Come on, Joe, there's an easier way. Oh, shit! You mean we did all this work for nothing? Where is everything? Very simple. The mayor wants to get reelected, right? The only way he can is give the people a scapegoat, right? The chief's the only one that can organize a raid. So, we pull a couple of phony raids. I guarantee you, within the next two weeks, we'll arrest somebody. But it ain't gonna be the Pasha. You run on inside, Jimmy, and get some of the guys to help. Stay in the car, Willie. After it's unloaded, turn around and get ready to split. Okay? Whatever it is going on over there, it ain't robbery. Ed, those guys could be up to anything. That's right. And if you're out here busting your balls trying to make police sergeant, just remember one thing. You don't see no police sergeant out wandering around in no dark alleys and no nigger neighborhood trying to find out what's going on. And it don't matter what. More. We bet what we have here. Oh, yeah. Heavy. Yeah. What are we carrying? Posh is crazy. Watch your baby. But he's got you doing all the work. Whatever it is, is heavy. Damn. What you do, man? Break your nail? No, I laid an egg. <laughs> hey, I ain't going out there again. Is there any more? That's it. We got it all. It's about ten. Man, what do you mean? Our operation. Listen, Brother Jabal, you had a good thing going here for you. Small time business for some people, but good enough to keep you in the Cadillac, fine wines, and drinking cutty. And nice women, too. But don't be trying to put our Chevy drivers out in the street for you when your ass is on the firing line. This ain't no we shit. This is you. Man, don't you know the white folks are trying to get rid of you? They want to take over the number business themselves. It's as simple as that. And I'm ready to do business with them. Don't make no difference to me who the banker is. I ain't got but a nickel invested know-how. A nickel of something's better than a nickel of nothing. Dad, blame it. That's why my insurance is so high. That blame cop's scared to investigate. You remember that when you had your first disagreement with Tony. Jesus Christ. What are you wearing that big mama llama for? Well, when I called this meeting tonight, I figured I might have to kill me a couple of niggas just to keep everybody in line. It's better if everybody's more afraid of me than they are the man. My name ain't Jesus. Your name don't have and to I, be... You, was your name I, Jesus and, when he got you out of jail 50,000 right. times? That don't make no difference. It makes a lot of difference. I ain't dying for nobody. Hey, so, man. Right. Don't punk out, man. man. It's time to stick together it's now. Good. Well, let me I, tell I, you I, something. I, I, when the going gets tough, Pasha's gonna pay for the baby's shoes. Pasha! Raphael. Yeah. Well, you see it there, Daniel. Five, baby. five more. <laughs> right, sir. <just. laughs> good to see you. They raided your real estate place, but I see you got away balls clean. Yeah, well, you got to give Jimmy Rush credit for that. He'll probably have that big body you got with him, and he's a tough customer. Don't worry. I'll give him both barrels at once. We'll be gone before that bodyguard gets up off the ground. What have you miss? It's your life. How can I miss? Pasha, what are we going to do with your equipment? We can't run the operation from here. Not now. We just can't do it. What's in the box? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot about the boxes. It's not my equipment. It's mainly guns and ammunition. 
All kinds of weapons. Jesus. Wow, man. Small guns. Handguns. What's this for? What are they for? Sasha, what are we going to do with all these things? You make your own decisions about that. I brought these things here for you. Do what you want to do. We've been talking all night about how we're going to protect ourselves. Now it's up to you to piss or get off the pot. If you want to throw them out in the garbage cans, go right ahead. But I'd advise you to distribute them or get rid of them as quickly as possible. Because you may be raided as early as tomorrow morning. Oh, man. And then again, maybe not. all this talk about war either. Most of our people ain't killers. Conwell with a gun. <laughs> Besides, we don't have to go to war. <laughs> we can outrun them. You said you're sure there's a contract out on you. Well, I do know what I'm doing, Pasha. And they'll have to get by me to get to you. Loyalty overwhelms me, man. But I'm going home. Yeah. Catch you later. Cup of don't bug me this morning, Pee. We ain't got no dime. I know you're a made some money. You don't drink no coffee, though, huh? Nineteen, but there's a day. I hope for the fraud's sake you can. <laughs> hey man, hey brother, what it is? I mean, see, I see, I you paid. played the number last yeah, week and they didn't pay. Yes. Now sir. you want to play in my book, right? I'd like to play. Okay, well, what's your number, man? My one, two, three. I tried to get you on it last week and yeah, you died. Yeah, but 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 I had it. Before. Cool, cool. You yeah. owe me a dollar and a half come Saturday. Okay, all right. I'll pay you. And stop but, diving. All right. All right. Go, go. Everything cool. Sweet man. 
in there. Don't give us some money today, Mr. McMahon. No, your rap's too weak. You got to me yesterday with that. Listen here, little Billy. Stop spending all your time on the corner, will you? Going home, your mama might be looking for you. A quarter? Sure is. Let's go buy some potato chips. call to give you bad news today. Go ahead. I'm gonna have to raid you a few times. Raid some of your places, that is. Mm, it's the mayor. Election time again, you know. So I'm gonna play lamb for the wolves again, huh? Well, if I can't make a good enough show for him, he's talking about putting together a special squad of hand-picked officers and calling them stress. Responsible only to him. They'll pick up where we leave off. So what does that leave for me? I'm sorry, Pasha, but he's given me a deadline. Now, if you'll just give me two or three arrests, maybe the whole thing will blow over. Do what you have to do. You all know you're going to get busted in a few minutes. Jesus Christ! You're going to need some help. Everybody out the back way now and take something with you. Oh, man, don't be trying to put me in it. I'm just shooting the game of pool. If I wanted to work, I'd be on my job. At least don't post pays. Okay, come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Can't even shoot a good game of pool around here. What's wrong with you people? Make me lose all my money like this. Just one way out, fellas. Haul ass and stay free. You got a hustle, baby. Come on, hustle. Pick up something and take it all out with you. Jimmy, hang loose. You take the car in Serene. I'll take Joe's car. Three Jeremy 12. Three Jeremy 12. Three German 12, go. Spotted Pasha Jamal in the valley at Riverton and 3rd. Suspect in right in the 30 zone. We'll try to apprehend and search suspect on speedy technicality. Better the units. Three German 12. and just disappeared. Where are you? The proprietor steps out for a minute. Look, 
you, Gorilla. Don't play stupid with me. I asked you a question. Where are they? Like I said before, the proprietor stepped out for a minute and he left me here to take care of things. And I don't know nothing about any gambling. Why are you... You can run, nigga, but you can't hide. Pasha, when are you going to get some respect for my thing? This thing, the law, it's what you pay me for. I'm telling you I can get him out of jail and they're not going to kill him. They wouldn't do that anyway. This is 1956. Just get Jimmy Rush out of the can, Sam, and don't give it an hour. Sam Kingston to see Mr. Collins. Oh, yes, sir. He's expecting you. Go right in. I have some papers for you to see. Sam Kingston, you're the attorney? Yes, I am. Just a minute. James Alfonso Rush. Where are they going? What? You don't know where the operation is? Well, Passion say for you to call Conwell. To answer your question. I just had a cup of your daddy's old nasty coffee. Give me a little thing of that sal patica there. This what you want, Miss Green? That's it. What you dreamed last night, Maddie? Ooh, don't ask me. Don't ask me. That's getting into my private business. Ever since my old husband died, Lord, Lord, seem like I don't dream about nothing but some young men. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must play the same number every day, then. It come out yet? No, but when it do, I'm going to stop dreaming and get myself a young, strong man and give him anything he wants. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got a natural hair on her head. I know it for a fact. She ain't going to sit up in church with that. <laughs> Can't you hear that phone ringing? You don't want to go to school. The least you can do is help out around here. Lazy heifer. Conwell's. Following Nathan Jones? Okay. Oh, you follow me, little Billy. Shut up, Nathan. Mommy sent me to the store. Nathan Jones, you've got to get rid of your pickup. The lookout said they saw the cops following you. Give me a bag. A big bag. Grab some groceries, little Billy. Tell Mama I'll be home later. Take her to work.
Come on, come on. 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 Come on
Take any part of it. Take it all. In the evenings, though, it's mainly when it's busy around here. And most mornings, the church is just standing empty. That's right. Sweet man, what are you doing here? Oh, well, where's Pasha? He's in the back there with the pastor. Thanks. Okay, sweet man. Later, baby. Well, what's Later. going on? I didn't come here to explain my system to you. I just came here to tell you I gotta use the church. Pasha. Sweet man, you're early. Couldn't wait, Pasha. Couldn't wait. What's this? Nathan. I got the kid, Nathan. Tony, that son of a bitch. I thought he'd try to get me. He will. He has. Where'd they leave, Nathan? Home. Who found him, his mother? For Christ's sake, man, speak up. Who found him? His... His brother, Low Billy. The two dudes that did it have been located. Mama Lottie's got the stuff made up that I want you to use on them. All you gotta do, Serene, is get to them and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Is this going to be a freak saying? Woo! we're going to take turns. What turns? Ain't you a hip man? I just want to learn in Mexico. They do it to jackasses down there. Track out the Mexican tequila. You got to drink somewhere? Say, baby girl, what's taking you so long in this? I'm gonna pee if you let me. You don't have to do it back there, damn it. I told you from the beginning, I'm just looking for a full show. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
kids ever since he was one yourself. <laughs> you and me came up together just like that. I always loved broads, tall, short, fat, skinny, white, black, sweet flesh. I still do, Hakeem. How about you? What are we going to do to settle this mess, anyway? The Chicago bosses are tired of waiting. I'm tired. You're tired. What's the solution? I thought perhaps you might have some ideas. You Italians were always better at that kind of thinking than us poor colored folks. <laughs> you too. You know, if you knew what I was thinking right now, I've hated you for a long, long time, Akeem. And right now, at this moment, I've got you right here in my hand. I could kill you, you know that. I still got your gun, Hakeem. Yeah, the one you got from me in your restaurant. You've always been a man of honor, Hakeem. Something I never could stand in a nigger. Now I want to see that honor put you right in your grave. Are you willing to pay the price to see me and mine? Lay it on me. There's a game. It's not Italian, it's Russian. It's a kind of roulette, a special roulette. But you play it with life. You see? You drop a bullet in the barrel like that. Then you revolve it. You put it to your head and press. You do it, Hakeem. You do it. Just in case you think I tricked you, you take the first turn. Put the gun to your head and pull the trigger, if you can. 
<laughs> you remember when we were kids? It was always you that wasn't afraid, and I always panicked. God almighty, how you used to torture me. Do it, damn it. Do it. You're a creep, Tony. You never have known how to play fair. What difference does it make? Little this noise in your gimp leg goon will be in here with a hand grenade or something. No, no, this place is completely soundproof. Nobody will come unless I call them, and I won't. I swear, I'm going straight down to the wire. Luck is with me tonight, you ugly son of a bitch. It's got to be. It ain't worth it unless I can whip you just once. But you're afraid to give me the satisfaction, aren't you? You're afraid to put that gun up to your head. <laughs> Niggas always want to go to heaven, but they don't want to die. If you weren't so arrogant, it could have been okay. But you had to have the biggest gun going. Now somebody's brains are gonna spill all over my carpet. I had the pin file down. I didn't want your stinking blood spilled all over my good stuff anyway. I just wanted to see you sweat. <laughs> now that the ceremonies are all done, both our ancestors will be satisfied. You <laughs> you get here? Anybody follow you? Nobody followed me. I hear music. Well, you said you wanted a party tonight. You got one. Yeah, we can celebrate now. I did Tony in tonight, and his bodyguard, Kathy. Oh, well, you can't stay here then. Cause you get Mama out of big trouble. My business is all straight. I'll be gone before morning. Well, there's a whole new change of clothes for you upstairs. You stay here, I'll go get them for you. Oh, by the way, Serena's in the room down the hall. We're gonna hit Pasha? Nah. The contract will take care of Pasha. All we gotta worry about is that Serene. That flashy broad ain't gonna be hard to spot. Come in. It's getting hot. I think we better cool it for a while. I know how to contact you if I need you. Here's your dust. It's all there in small bills. And thanks, son. 
Take care of yourself. Now, yeah? Did you get Romaine and the kids squared away? They're halfway to Mexico City by now. Stop worrying. Wrap to those brother will fly us off before dawn. Here's the tickets. Uh, Willie, did you take care of the Cadillac? Cadillac can do a lot of things, but it sure can't swim. And I put that baby on the bottom of the river. <laughs> Chief Dealer will spend a lot of time working out that problem. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Do you want to smoke a pipe? <laughs> it's not opium. It won't make you nod. It'll make you see clearly. What is it? It's not reefer. It's special, a special plant that's come out of the ground around my old home place. Is that supposed to make me strong, too? It'll make you remember who you are. Well, let's try it there, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Been here three hours. Wonder when that broad's gonna show. Here comes somebody now. Well, that ain't serene. Tony said get serene, so we wait till she shows. Cool it. He's coming over. How about a light for the cigar, Betty? I know who the rat is. 
and I'm having him taken care of. Hello? It's Tony there. That you, sweet man? Yeah. Lay low. Pass us out of here. Got Tony and Cappy tonight. said, one of your people works for me. Well, I know who to take care of to get rid of that. No, no, I don't think you do. Hello, Mr. Sweetman. Listen, little Billy, stop spending all your time on the court. Go home, your mama might be looking for you. Tony, they try to get me. They will. One of his main runners is Sweetman. The Sweetman. Sweetman. Tony's not the one I want you to kill. There's some things a passion must do for himself. I know who the rat is. You don't know where the I'm operation is? Marsha said to tell you to see Conwell. There. I had the pin file down. <laughs> I didn't want you to spill all of my good stuff anyway. Greeting. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Sweetman. Get your ten, get the betting in. Seven come eleven, you can all go to heaven. Make some change, rearrange New York Stock Exchange. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There's only five days in a week. Five bucks for a penny, risk a penny. Scheme and dream and dream and scheme. What you play? The numbers game. Three, six, nine. That means shit in the dream book. In the dream book. Two, two, two means crying. Eight, nine, eight means dying. Dick Smith and a white woman was on my mind. Lord, here comes seven, eight, nine. Seven, six, five. Show me money, funky, funky. 